back to the channel folks JD here again with a uh, very quick video today just an update really um, two things one um, I've now set up a Facebook group that I've called car finance tutorials chit chat um, which I thought would be a nice place for any of us like-minded individuals who want to talk about car finance maybe share any offers they've seen maybe get some friendly opinions from each other I thought it might be quite a nice place to communicate so if anybody's interested in that do fling me an email and I'll send you an invitation um, the other thing is um, a slight update to the spreadsheet so I've kind of hinted over the last couple of videos and um, that I wasn't overly happy with some of the things that the spreadsheet was coming out with so I've tried to update it do a little bit of a few tweaks behind the scenes and, and I'm much happier with it now so I will be sending an update out shortly to everybody who has already obtained a copy from me if you are interested in obtaining a copy and you'd like to know how to do it just email me here I still can't get it right email me there somewhere um, and I will send you a copy Okay, so essentially, the latest version of the spreadsheet, which I've called 4.5, I've done a few things for a few kind of housekeeping bits first. I didn't realize, first of all, that although I locked the individual worksheets, I didn't realize I'd actually locked the entire workbook, which meant that people were un unable to copy tabs and duplicate worksheets so I've removed that now so what I've done I've slimmed down the the sheet that I send out it's just literally got two tabs now it's got um, the main spreadsheet I've also incorporated the incentive bit in there if you're unsure what that's for that's if a dealer kind of says well if you take out finance we will give you a free service pack and it just kind of calculates is it worth taking out the finance just to get the free service back or is it worth financing it some other way and buying the service pack so I've incorporated that now onto the main sheet uh, so now there's just two tabs. There's the main sheet and there's the other one where we can, if you don't know the APR or the interest rate, which would be highly unlikely, it enables you to type in the figures and it gives you the interest. But the important bit is if you want to add more tabs, you now can. You literally just right click, go move or copy, click the, make sure you can see this. Hope you can see this. Can you see this? Uh, I don't, know whether you, I don't know whether it's picking that up, but essentially you do right click. I don't think you can see this, but essentially you right click on the tab and go create a copy and then go OK. And you can see here now another tab has appeared and you can do that as many times as you like. So that's the first kind of update. Um, and the second one is I've added, I've done a few tweaks in terms of. Can you hear that? That's my wife beating some chicken breasts with a rolling pin I think um, so apologies for that anyway um, so what I've done I've tweaked a few things with the way the interest is calculated on a PCP I'll show you why in a second and I've also added this free payments option now that's for these newish agreements that are coming out at the moment I imagine it's not going to be for long but I think it's to kind of get the market going again after lockdown which basically enables you to type in three months free if you like it's not free unless it's not percent you are still going to pay interest on that um, capital but it enables you to defer making any monthly payments for say two months or three months or whatever I've certainly seen it on Audi on the Audi Q3 that we looked at yesterday um, and I've also seen it on Ford so that's in there it kind of works give or take a pound a month um, I'm still kind of working on that but I don't think it's going to be around forever so it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work perfectly but let me show you what I discovered so the, the spreadsheet as it stands if we just nip over to say motor point again no affiliation just a total random uh, selection I've chosen quite an expensive car um, it's a BMW 8 series and if we put this amount into the spreadsheet lot but we do it on HP rather than PCP so the total cost is 48098. Deposit they're asking is 4800. Guaranteed value is nothing. People do ask me, can this be used for HP? Yes, it can. Just leave the cell blank on the guaranteed future value or put a zero in if you wish. Starting month will say doesn't matter. It's only for the amortization table below, but we'll just say July. And the quoted APR motor point is saying 9.9. .9. So if I put that in there lot. And we'll do it over 60 months, as it says here. 
Lo and behold, it comes out at exactly the right amount, like 908.86, 908.86. So that tells me that the spreadsheet is working perfectly. And the function that I've used behind the scenes is one of Excel's built-in functions. It's called the IPMT function. And it enables you to calculate monthly interest rates, blah, 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 blah. So it's working. But what I found was, was that certainly with higher APR values and higher amounts of credit, on a PCP, it was starting to waver. It was starting to become less than it should have been, certainly when you're comparing it with real life examples. So I've tweaked it a little bit. And I think the reason, and I don't know, but I think the only reason I can think that the Excel's function doesn't quite tally with PCP examples that are given is because if we put in, um, let's, let's change it to PCP, look, 49 months on this same car. So 48098, for same deposit value. Guaranteed future value is, where is it? Uh, it is 23847, uh, 9.9, .9, same, same APR, and 48 months. If you look what's happening now, now this is as close as I can get it. It's coming out at 680.45, they've got 679.86. Under the old system, it was probably going to probably give a value of about 676 there, 675, which I wasn't happy about. And the only reason I can think of that it was under reading was because if you look at the amortization table here, Excel's function assumes that in the final month, so in month 49 effectively, you are just paying 23847, which is correct. But I think, and don't, I don't know this to be the case, but the only way I can get it to work pretty accurately is to assume that there is another month's interest being charged in the same month that you're effectively going to pay your final value. Now, I don't know whether that's the case, but I basically tweaked the spreadsheet to add on another month's interest in the final month, and that gets us much closer. If you look here, look, it says the total amount... 61,308 on the spreadsheet. And in this example, they've got 61,290. So we're, we're within 20 quid over the entire four years. So I'm happy with that. So that's what I've done. Um, I think that's all I need to say. So they're the updates. So you now can just copy the tab as many times as you like. We've included the free payments tab and we've included the incentive box in the main spreadsheet as well. Oh, one thing I must remind you about as well. Again, I've just had an email literally half an hour ago to say that the spreadsheet was under reading or over reading, under reading by quite a lot. And I thought well, it was about six pounds out and I thought, well, it's never usually that far out. And basically it was because it was a 40, what I call, as you know, a 47 plus one. So 47 equal payments, month 48 where the final value is. So if you've got an agreement like that, you need to put, and I've changed it here to make it clearer, look, enter equal payments. So you need to enter 47 for a 48 month agreement. With MotorPoint Lock, it's a 49 month agreement, but there are 48 equal payments and month 49 is where the final value lies. So for that, you would use 48, okay? So just remember, if it's under reading, make sure that if it's, say, you know, BMW, as we saw recently, Audi, if they are quoting 47 equal payments or 35 equal payments with a, with a three-year agreement, make sure you put the number of equal payments in there, not the total months on the agreement. Hope that was useful. I'll check in again with you very soon with a new video. As I say, in the meantime, please do continue to subscribe. Email me if you'd like to join the Facebook group, because I think that'll be a nice arena for us to discuss things. Um, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.